Hey guys, welcome back to more Persona 5, and in this episode, we're gonna continue the exploration of Madarame's palace. And god dang, I've been saying that quite a lot, honestly, because this place is not short. Not by any stretch of the imagination, and I really want to hear Yusuke's uh, line when you see a treasure chest, because he's like, Joker, we can get more money! It's like, the way he says that is so god dang hilarious. But anyways, guys, in this episode, holy crud, we're gonna be making a ton of progress. And god dang, that's a lot of, uh, Wampo. Let's get rid of that. And god dang it, I really wish he had, um, Baton Pass already. But honestly, Yusuke doesn't really need it. Just by himself, we can get all out attacks and just... I don't know, man, he's kind of like almost a self-sufficient character. At least the way I've made him. I mean, I get even like, plus two agility and luck and... I think that's the first time we've seen that. Man, that actually looks really cool. Holy crud. I don't know if his, um, like, saying at the end there is supposed to be a haiku or what, but... It's cool is all I'm getting at. Anyways, we got a snuff soul, and I'm cool with that, because that's more SP recovery. And as you know, SP is incredibly hard to come by in this game. But that's honestly nothing new. I've been saying that for, like, half the playthrough now, but... Yeah, in that last battle, On actually learned a new skill, Dikaja, and, uh... As far as new skills for us, I really want to get Kodama's Psy, but the problem is getting that skill is going to be kind of hard when he needs 1,000 EXP to level up. That's why it's sometimes hard to use Persona you don't have Arcana Burst with, but as far as our main party goes, On is kind of falling behind a bit and I'm a little bit worried about that, but for those who aren't informed, Dikaja removes all buffs on the enemy. Very helpful to have, especially this early into the game. That's usually a late game thing, but another thing I want to point out, Yusuke is about to level up, like holy crud, man. What's going on with him? I don't know, but <laughs> hey, I'm not going to complain. All I'm asking is like, how are you higher level than my main character? That's kind of bizarre, but anyways, I'm not going to complain. I don't have an ego when it comes to my team, and crud. This room's actually kind of tough. So you want to bypass the majority of the enemies, because we're only going to get repeats pretty much from this point onward, but... At the same time, I wouldn't mind getting, like, some bonus EXP. This room's actually kind of funny, because, yet again, the bathrooms, um, are available, as you can enter them and see what's inside, but the only occupied one is literally the female, and if you enter there, there's a librarian, and she'll kick your butt. Not really, I mean, the place doesn't have a ton of cover, but outside of that, yeah, there isn't really anything to do in the girls' bathroom for once in a Persona game. Anyways, we're gonna get the straw doll. God dang. Is our whole party vampires? What the fr- <laughs> I guess mirrors also don't work in the metaverse. I was actually confused. I thought that technology just didn't work because, you know, Ryuji's phone didn't have signal, but... No, you can actually use electronics. You just don't get, like, internet access or any, like, radio signals pass through. That's the only difference. Also, what the dump just happened? This was not in the map. Heck, I can't even use the map. Oh, boy. I guess we're in for something wildly different. This is straight out of MC Escher. Crap, what the heck is up with this place? There's so much gold, it's hurting my eyes, yeah. Guess this guy's real gaudy. The distortion is especially bad here. It's barely holding up. Plus, neon on the map. So, we must ascertain the truth through our eyes alone. I guess so. So it's time to reach out to the truth, guys. <laughs> All right, I told myself before recording I want to make that joke, and I guess I lied to myself, god dang it. Anyways, yeah. I love this place so much. Like, this is the highlight of the entire dungeon in my eyes. For good reason. It looks stinking sick, but also, I want to grab this. This is a really nice item to grab. It's the Witch Amulet. It's an equipment that gives plus two in magic. Not too shabby, but seriously, the, the music remix and just everything about this little zone. It's just perfect. It also reminds me of an area in Persona 3 The Answer. An area I don't like, but hey, at least, you know, it's... A little bit of nostalgia and like roundabout way. And God dang, I know we're seeing his crit animation a lot, but geez, he looks so. Yusuke is like ticked. When he gets a. He's like, I'm tired of getting all these goddamn crits or making the battles go on forever. I don't know why that'd be annoying though. Anyways, these, uh, Kappa Tengu, Kopa Tengu, also known as the Foolish Monks, um, we could fuse these Persona. So I don't really give a crap about them, so let's get some EXP. If you're at all curious, they can inflict rage and like. I don't know, that's really all they do. God dang. That's so sick. They inflict rage and like buff each other with Sukukaj and god dang, he beat me to level 17. Well, he's a year older than us though. I guess we have to 
keep that in mind. But yeah, that was pretty easy. So far, yeah, we're not going to really run into very difficult shadows for a good portion of this area. Did we just warp? I think we just warped. It seems even the paths beyond these apertures are distorted in the same way as this room. Yeah, so yeah, keep that in mind. I don't know, some people, I could see them getting really lost here because, like, everything looks so, like, crazy, right? But if you just, like, keep track of your character, it's pretty darn simple. The pathways are incredibly narrow, and I think that's what they had to do to make this area, like, navigatable. Because if it was all over the place, man, it would hurt your eyes, I imagine. And why is there a painting here? It's a museum on! Come it's probably some kind of illusion. We're in a palace, after all. Well... I guess the painting itself might be correct, though. You say correct, but aren't they all counterfeit? Well, maybe the real one's here, too. Huh. I wonder. Either way, the fact that this is here might mean it's connected to this space in some way. Yeah, they like this. Pretty safe assumption to make, but hey, it's Sayuri. Neat. Hey. Is that a fake? I mean, this is Madarame's palace. There's an obvious difference if you look closely. It shouldn't be too difficult to tell them apart. Yeah, maybe it's obvious for you, but what do you think, Joker? Well, the other one has a blue shirt, and the real portrait is red. So this is the real one. <laughs> that is correct. It seems you have quite the eye for detail, Joker. Oh, stop it. For real? That's amazing! The vibrant crimson clothes, her beautiful hair, the sublime balance between subject and background. This may only be an illusion, but it is without a doubt a spitting image of the true Sayuri. Yeah, and it's also going to progress us farther into the dungeon. That's cool. The heck flew away. <laughs> well, 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 don't worry about that, Ruigi. But for the time being, I want to steal some more art. I'm a bit curious, though. I wonder if you could actually encounter a um, jewel demon in this area. The treasure demon. I'm a little bit curious on that. It's never happened to me, so I legit don't know. I've only spent so many hours in this area. Now comes the hard part. Oh, isn't this somewhere new? Yeah, it is. Seeing past the false image has opened a path to the truth. Hmm. This golden place filled with counterfeit work is a prime example of the alchemy of Madarame's brain. And here, just as in reality, he entraps those who cannot see through his lying facade. Uh, you, you might be right. No wonder the distortion is so strong here. Hey. So, uh, what does that mean? I think it means finding the real Sayur should break through the distortion and open a path. So we just gotta check them all, or... <laughs> Why would we do that? Let's just look for the real one, assuming we can differentiate it. Yes. Just spoiler alert. This is the real one. Because the other ones do not have branches. Behind Sayuri. And my thing in the painting. Well, I guess a girl in the... The middle's named Sayuri. Anyways, if you pick this is the fake one, you'll actually get ambushed by shadows. Vice versa, with all the fake ones. And I don't want to deal with that crap. Yes, it's the true Sayuri. It may be an illusion, but it's no mistaking. It's a lure. Nicely done. Thanks, Yusuke. Yusuke is such a bro, dude. Not unlike Ryuji, though. I know! There's so many good bros in one game, and On's a good bro, too. Honestly, they're so great. I, good team, all I'm saying. And Yeah, so, all four of these are fake, because the ones that have the branch have the blue shirt, and the ones that are, like, have the correct shirt don't have the branch. So what's the deal? Well, you get to the end, and then you figure it out. It actually tricks you, like, oh, well, you can go back now, or you can continue downward and see, <gasps> now there's two. Now, the difference between these is so minuscule, it is kind of ridiculous. I want to see if you guys can see for yourself. So, let's check out this one. Is this real? Mm, I'm not sure. Yeah. Let's check out the other one now. I just want to see how many people can get it correct. Hey. So, I'm not going to say it in this video, but this is the correct one. But wow. can you spot the difference? I'm a little bit curious. I just like playing games sometimes. You know, <laughs> I'm really curious how many people are going to get it right. Hmm, I guess we'll find out. And what the... Di did it just fly off to... Yeah, it did. Well, crud. Uh, I don't really know where to go anymore. Just kidding. Now the one at the very start's back. Whoa. God damn, what the heck's going on here? We have seen all of the false images. Something must have changed somewhere. Yeah, like down there. Man, I love this dungeon. I just love the whole Japanese theme because Goemon and what Madarame's, like, shadow self is based on is so, like, it's basically just a thematic, like, version of Goemon's story, right? And I'll get in more detail of that later, but just be careful, okay? The source is growing much stronger than the deeper we go. Yeah, but essentially, I'm just going to give you the Cliff Notes version of it. 
So, Goemon, he robbed, you know, the rich. There was this shogunate, and he was just a giant jerk, and everyone suffered because of his hierarchy, right? So, Goemon stole from him, gave it to the poor, and eventually he got caught and boiled in boiling water. And, uh, yeah, he saved his son, though. And that's what I think is kind of going on here. Yosuke is going to sacrifice himself, more or less, to stop all Madarame's future pupils from suffering the same fate that he did. I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. You may disagree, but, uh, hey, there's a lot of interpretations of the relationship going on here. Anyways, we got the Crimson Ring. It does the same thing that On's ring does, but I'll be honest, the Zodiac Charm just does so... It is helping us out so much. I gotta go with that one. So we're gonna leave our accessories untouched. But now that we've done with that, we can escape this really golden room. And man, this guy really loves himself. God damn. Anyways, now it's on to the final room of this palace. Yeah, kind of flew by just like that. And uh, is that... Yeah. It's him. Just as expected, Madarame. Then is the treasure behind him? Eh, it's kind of hard to tell for me. Let's get a closer look. All right, definitely do that, assuming there's no guards nearby. Mm, yeah, we're probably fine. There it is. Doesn't it look a bit hazy? For the time being. Once we send the card and make Madarame aware it'll be stolen, It'll materialize like, yoo-hoo! I wonder what form it will take. Who knows? That is something like a self-portrait. The source of what distorted Madarame's reality this much. Hmm, that's a good question. So what now? I think it's safe to say we got the root set, right? the treasure is, but I'm not sure that will necessarily secure the route. Eh? Why is that? You must be talking about the infrared lasers surrounding it. That and the outer perimeter swarming with guards. Forcing our way through will be difficult. So we need to find a way to steal it too. This is tougher than it was with Kamoshida. Yeah, let us right to it. We just have to make one final push. Let's check this floor. Yeah, I mean, can't give up now, but... That is a couple guards, and infrared lasers, and probably more guards that we just can't see on the map, but- Ooh, a safe room! I'll definitely be taking that. So now we've made it to this point, I really, really want to go back to the Velvet Room to do one tiny thing. And that is to fuse a persona, which is going to help us in this final stretch of the palace. Now, there is a high chance that you can easily recruit this persona, but- I just want to go ahead and make it anyways right now, since it's actually pretty easy to create, so let's look for it. Ah, there it is. Of the Temperance Race, Makami, who is a, like, dog, spirit, wolf thing. Yeah, divine wolf god in Japanese folklore, and often drawn on prayer boards to prevent fires and thefts. But also feared as a human eater. Can you blame him for wanting to eat humans? He's really thin. He just wants a good meal, but this specific persona has access to a new element, nuclear or fray. These element attacks are pretty fun to use, actually. If you inflict someone with a burn, freeze, shock from using other elemental attacks, you can do some seriously crazy damage. So we want to fuse this persona since we have not had access to this element prior. And it is kind of a bummer that we're going to get rid of Jack Frost. And I know a lot of people are like, no, not Jack. And you got to understand that in Persona and Atlas games, you cannot be attached. Sure, you could create, you know, a, pers a Jack Frost, for instance, that was like the strongest thing ever. And God dang it. No, I'm sorry, Jack. But the thing is, the resources used to make that happen are going to be way more numerous than just making a new persona. So sometimes you got to know when to let a persona go. I did not intend for that to rhyme. Anyways, Makami. Be, be your mask. And how is enemies? Cool. Why the dump am I getting all the stupid persona? <laughs> like, sometimes they say meaningful things. I'm just getting all like the beasts and monsters. I don't know. That's... Kind of strange, I didn't plan it like that. We're not actually totally done in the Velvet Room, though. We will be back probably towards the end of this episode, because I want to do a little bit of grinding. But since 
I'm like level 16, we can fuse that guy up. And now that we've gotten that taken care of, let's go back to the main hall. And now that we have a new persona in hand, it's time to try to find a way into this treasure room and also steal more crap. Gimme! Huh. The crappy portrait was under the crappy portrait. Interesting. Anyways. Now that we've uh, done that, let's check out the security room and... Wow, that rug looks really comfy. I don't know. Oh, hey, a control room. I think we can turn the lights off here. Yeah, enough of me uh, getting distracted. But seriously. I don't know why. I like laying on carpet. Does that make me weird? Yeah. It's always, like, really cold during the summer, and I guess Ryuji already <laughs> gave his input. <laughs> yeah! We don't need a password for this one. What do you want to do? What the dump? Why is the... Out of all the laptops in the whole place, why is this the only one without a password? But, uh... I guess shut down the main power. Seems like the first thing to do, right? Oh, snap. It actually worked. What is the meaning of this? I'm not sure. Seems we lost power. The backup generator should bring it up again in no time. Crap. What a nasty surprise. Could this also be? Hey, someone! Oh, crap. Came back on pretty dang fast. Yes, and the infrared lasers remained active even during the power outage. So I'll only be able to turn off the power in there for a few seconds. Wait a second. Aren't those guards that just ran out headed this way? Oh! What else should we try? We might be in trouble if we don't hurry. Um, it doesn't matter which order you do these in and all, but... Let's open the shutters. That seems like the reasonable thing to do. But then again, though, you might want to also try and turn those lasers off. Hmm. Tempting. Yeah. All right. Now there are more places we can explore. Hmm. What else should we try? Might be in trouble if we don't hurry. Yeah, no matter what, you can't hurry. <laughs> you got to try all three options, which really sucks, but oh well. Oh crap, really? Huh, nothing happened. Error. Only Lord Matarambi is able to access the terminal due to maximum security. God dang it. What the heck? There's no point even coming here then. Hmm. It seems disabling the infrared lasers is not within the realm of possibility for us. Yeah, that's a bummer. Anyways, wasn't there like a guard? Co oh. Yeah, we were just leaving. Hmm. So you're the ones who tampered with the electricity. <laughs> eh, crap. We got company. That we do. And, hey, I d don't I know you? Let's silence him fast. Yeah, he is a uh, people leader after all, but yeah, Makami are here to fight us. And guess what? They have access to a new form of magic. Hopefully we won't see it, so let's go ahead and use Giant Slice. And since we knew these guys were coming, they won't have like the initiative in battle. Sometimes it's kind of strange and oh crap. Please dodge it. Oh gosh, Double Fang hurts a lot if both hits hit us. But yeah, as I was saying before, if you pick that option first, they won't all attack you instantly, which is nice. So let's... Uh, problem here is On can't really do much of anything. Maybe it'd be a smart idea to heal up Yusuke, since his endurance is really low. It might be like kind of dumb to do that. And, oh, please. Oh, gosh, no panther. Okay. It doesn't matter, though. Once we get a Ryuji's turn, it's over. Since we fused this persona, we know that they are weak to zero attacks. So let's kick their butts. Now, you're probably thinking is... If you wanted this persona so bad, why don't you just negotiate with the shadow? Well, here's the thing. You can't. No. That's all you had to say. Alright, um, anyways. So you're forced to do an all-out attack on them. This enemy will spawn later on inside of the palace, but just wanted to point that out if anyone was uh, kind of confused on that. And I'm going to go to Kodama, because I want you guys destroyed. And Man, I really want to get Psy on him, but that's just not going to happen. And the next persona we're going to be fusing is going to get that ability, too. So, no real reason to do that. Anyways, let's wrap this up. And get the heck out of here, because we don't need more guards coming. And, man. <clears throat> God dang it. I love that so much. Like, I thought I'd get, like, tired of just the ending animations every single time, because... I tend to do all out attacks quite often, but, uh... Yeah, that was a surprise. All we really managed to do was open the shutters. On top of that, we can only turn the lights off briefly, while the lasers remain unaffected. Oh well, guess we just gotta go see what's past those shutters. Yeah, no real way around it. And let's heal, Morgan. Yeah, thank you. So, Ons SP is getting a little bit low, but yeah, that pretty much goes the same way no matter what options you pick. Now, we get to explore the remainder of this area, and there's actually some pretty good chests 
this way. And there's also some enemies that are only weak to nuclear damage. So that is why I decided to create Makami. Now there is a decently high chance that this would have that shadow with it, but uh, yeah, it does not look like we, oh, we got the Tengu though, that's cool. We didn't get it this time, which sucks. And wow, did you get another crit? Oh my gosh, Yusuke, you gotta chill, man. My like, god damn. Okay, you're just getting another. I don't even know what the equation is for like crits versus not getting crits. I assume it's like the difference in the luck stuff. I just like get it when he gets crits because god dang, in his profile, just look at him. He looks so ticked. He's just like, I'm gonna. It's like, geez. Wait, we knocked all these guys down. Why can't we knock? Eh, who cares? Let's just waste some more SP, I guess. It's not even really wasting SP, though, since I have... Oh, he's begging for his life! The Tengu! What's up, man? Yo, you want to fork over some cash, my boy? Look, I got Yen. Just leave me alone. Nah, you can do better than that. You aren't satisfied! Are you trying to trick me? Hey, it worked! All right, yo, I'll take it. Thanks a lot, man. Nice. So now he's out of the way. Dang, dude. I love negotiating like that. That's what I was talking about in the last episode. If it's just one guy, it's not going to be a big deal because it's going to turn around and try and take down four people. That's just not going to happen. But this is the chest I want to use my one lockpick on. And man, I love this little view they show you of the treasure. Well, it's not there yet, but once we get it, man, Madarame is going to pay. Anyways, there's a pretty good um, equipment in here that I'm going to unlock and all you skate. He's like, I don't care. Wait, oh, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so funny. It's the Saint's Tunic. Now, this is way better than the Cosmic Undies. God dang, this game is so strange. Just saying that out loud. But, more agility, or evasion rate, and defense. Also, resist rage, which is really good against a couple of enemies, which I've kind of struggled with. So, we're going to pass on the Cosmic Undies to Ryuji. Even though he said, uh, yeah, I'm not going to let you borrow my underwear. Uh, we're we're going we're gonna to do it because we're a nice guy. <laughs> by that kind of funny anyways now that we got that out of the way we're more or less kind of finished here except for one really annoying hallway and sir I'm gonna need you to hustle I got people to steal treasure from and I hope this is not the enemy ah oh, crud it is okay so yeah this guy's just straight up a normal foe now that is kind of a problem but here's the thing now, we know what he's weak to, so we can exploit that. And can I just say, the fact he's not weak to fire is such a... I don't know how to feel about that, but anyways, let's go to... Where is Makami? Makami, there he is. So we're gonna use Frey, and just knock him down. This makes the fight way more manageable. And I was slightly incorrect, I worded it very poorly in the previous episode. When battling the Regent, you don't need to keep using physical attacks. It's actually weak to Psy and Frey, but we did not have nuclear or the other element at our disposal at that stage of the game. And I'm actually going to use another Taru Kaja on the main character. God dang, I just got to say, I was like, in the beginning of the game, I was saying like, dude, holy crud, the main character is so good in this game. That is true. Or no, I was saying like, everybody seems pretty strong, right? That is true. But at the same, oh crap, she's so dead. No, we're dead. Oh my gosh. That was really scary. I did not think he'd go for the main character, but... I was saying at the beginning of this playthrough, like, wow, they actually made everyone pretty balanced. Then we started doing confidants, and now I'm pretty sure, yeah, the main character's still the best. I mean, everyone else isn't bad either, but I'm kind of a bit bummed. We haven't seen Ryuji's insta-kill yet, but, eh, I guess there's still time for that. So, yeah, those enemies are really annoying because they inflict rage and they're immune to all physical attacks, so... Kind of aggravating. I'm actually going to manually go into Morgana because I don't need um, Dia. I just want a little bit of healing on my guys. Yeah, that'll do. Sweet. So we got to use 43 SP to get us through the remainder of this palace. And I also really want to grind up and hopefully get to level 19 to fuse my next persona, which will hopefully kick some serious butt. And you can actually pass through this guy, but I'm just going to battle him again. I didn't mention it before, but he actually has a gun-based attack. And Oh, no. We actually got really... Yo, I'm happy about that. This is supposed to be another one of those paper Onis. And I'm pretty pumped we didn't get that. All right. End it, please. No, I didn't get the crit. Bummer. All right. We can work around that. Let's see. Oh, man. I'm going to have to use a lot of SP here. Unfortunately, there's no way we can knock them all down. Because we need wind and... Actually, yeah, we can't do that. So where's my wind persona? There he is. Sodama. So we're going to use that... Make, th make this guy get knocked down, and then we can go into Ryuji, just baton pass with him. Actually, no, he has Zio too. Never mind. 
I'm just really excited because I don't have to fight another one of those paper stinking Onis. And god dang, they're annoying. Like, I've lost a lot of times just coming through here. On or my main character will get raged, and then everyone just start wasting their turns, and it's really annoying. Also, I had the resist, like rage stuff on. Wait, did he hit me with rage? No, he just hit me with like a crit. That was the scary part. So, yeah, you gotta watch out for those enemies. That's all I'm trying to say here. They are not to be messed with, especially if you don't have the nuclear element. I'm gonna just hustle up here, and this should be, yeah, our last enemy before the safe room. Now that we're done with that, relatively easy battle. Let's go ahead and save. Now, if you've made it to this point in a single day, yet again, pat yourself on the back. You did it. You passed the one day trial yet again. But we're technically not finished in this palace quite yet. And, eh, some kind of security room? No. It's most likely where all the mechanisms in the exhibit hall are controlled from. Given the number of hanging works, it would make sense to have a room dedicated to controlling them. The observation skills of an artist are out of this world, yeah, how do you know all that, dang. Kind of impressed, I'm not gonna lie, but it also has more art in it to steal, but... Yeah, I guess, um, wasn't totally wrong, there's servers and everything in here. Also, a ladder, how about that, let's check that out and... Oh my gosh. Dude. I see what you're getting at, Atlas, I like this. Hey, look. Hey, ain't this right above the treasure? Uh, yes, use your eyes for once, Ryuji. Oh, look, there aren't lasers above it. This is quite a large hole in their security. But what do we do? Jump down to retrieve it? Hmm, we want to be able to get out if we ever do that. Look up. Oh, snap. A crane with a hook. The controls should probably be around here somewhere. Let's find them. All right, sounds sick, but God. That's such a cool way to steal the treasure. I, I'm sorry, I'm fanboying a little bit too much, but I love the way this palace ends. It's so nice, and looks like this is it. Joker, give it a try. I'm on a bus. <laughs> Honestly, I do feel like Morgana's the boss half the time, and <laughs> look at him. The Shogun doesn't even realize. Stop, stop, stop. Don't notice if you keep going like that. Bring it back out quickly. Yeah, yeah. Nice to know it works, though. <laughs> Jeez. You got it. This could be useful. Do you plan on descending onto that hook? Will that not spot you on the moment you were lowered down? No, not necessarily. Something I can think of do to make sure that doesn't happen. Wait, Morgana, can you turn invisible? Are you, are you have superpowers? It's nothing crazy like that. I won't be able to do anything about the crane and the noise either. All right, I'm able to turn the lights off over in that room. Oh yeah, we can! Only for a few seconds though. There would not be enough time to make it all the way here. Hmm, that's why we're gonna split up the tasks and work together to pull off this heist. One person will shut the power off here. One person will lower the crane, and I'll grab the treasure. Ah, uh, you sure that's gonna work? Seems to me like they realize what's going on at that point. Yeah. Sometimes bold moves have the greatest payout. Unless someone has a better idea. Mmm. Sounds pretty sound to me. Well said, Joker. You understand what being a fan of Thief really means. Yeah. All right. It's settled. Our infiltration route is secured. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> now then, it's time for the calling card. And just like that, we're pretty much done in Madarame's palace. You can head back to the entrance and go back, but you know me. It's never over. I'm gonna be grinding up a little bit because currently we are, I believe, level 16. And before I leave this place, I want to be level 19 so we can fuse our next persona. And I recommend you just get comfortable, like definitely do some grinding to make sure your money's where it needs to be, etc. Because once you come back, just like last time, it's straight to the boss fight. So I'll beat you guys back once I've done a fair amount of yen grinding. All right, guys, I'm back from my little grinding session and seeing how everyone's on the brink of death, this might be a good place to stop for the day. But in all my grinding, we got over 100,000 yen from Shadow Negotiation. And I gotta say, that is an achievement. But on top of that, we're now level 19, which means it's time to head to the Velvet Room and craft our new persona. And wow, is this one going to be a complete monster? Now, this is why we've been leveling up the Death Confidant so much, because there is a very powerful persona that you can gain at this stage of the game. So powerful, in fact, it's gonna be hard not to use him for like 
the next coming areas. He's very strong is all I'm getting at. Before we do any fusions though, it's time to register. Might as well do that. Yes, I want to register. Now that we've taken care of that, let's go to fuse our new persona. And still, we can't do any advanced fusion, unfortunately, but if we fuse by results and organize by level, now that we're level 19, the Matador can be fused. Now we can do this two ways, Makami, Huampo, or McCoy and a Regent. Now the way Regent works is, basically, if you combine it with a persona of the same Arcana, it will go up a rank. This varies depending on which, you know, Regent you're using and what Arcana it is, but in this specific case, the Emperor, that is level 10, will turn McCoy into Matador. And god dang, is this persona going to be a complete monster? 16 agility, and at level 20, it will learn Swift Strike. Light physical damage to all foes, 3 to 4. That may not sound impressive, but god dang, it is crazy. The amount of damage you could potentially do with this thing is ridiculous. And you may be wondering, how is the Matador a part of the Death Arcana? Well, a sportsman who entertains the audience in exchange for his own life. One mistake can mean death. Some believe that matadors who die while performing remain in this world. Yeah, pretty spooky. He's also a fan favorite of Atlas's games. Now, this might actually be a bad spread to do. He's going to gain stats and endurance, agility, and strength. And currently, strength isn't his highest stat, so we're going to fuse him with Regent. Now, you could be like, John, do not fuse away that Regent. That is such a waste. And I will agree. But at the same time, I'm going to do it anyway. So we're going to pass on the Bless Damage and Curse Damage skills. Since we do not have access to those at the moment, we don't need to pass on Masai because we already have Sai from Matador. He gets that skill too. Pretty darn great. Then we're going to pass on Tarukaja and Rakunda from McCoy. And since we are rank 6 with the Death Confidant, this guy is going to automatically level up to level 20. So we already have Swift Strike just like that. And there he is, the Matador. I am Matador, and this blood of mine born from the bloody throes of battle shall be with you as a mask from now on. Heck yeah. So Matador's gonna kick some butt. Uh, I think you all could gather that. The only way we can make this persona any stronger is if, yes, it got a lot in strength. That is really, really good. So. Now it's going to learn Swift Strike, and yeah, Madarame, you better look out. We're coming with the Red Capote. Anyways, now that we've taken care of that, we're pretty much done in the metaverse for today. Pretty much did everything on my checklist. I mean, we got up to the treasure, secured the route. Now all we got to do is send that calling card, but uh, we might not want to do that right away. More on that later, though, when we secure the route. Do you want to go out? Heck yeah, we're pretty much done. Well, I'm still kind of worried, but... We gotta do this. I cannot even begin to fathom what Madarama's treasure may be. It's probably a painting. I hate to break it to you, Yusuke. Either way, we'll steal it for sure. That one, y'all did great today. You did good at two on, man. Everyone did great. Especially Yusuke. God dang it. Whoa, we did a little bit. This place is actually a lot longer than I thought, and okay, I've been waiting for this. And yeah, so where are we gonna send it? This the part's up to you, dude. Let us know when you need us. Yeah, so. Immediately after clearing a palace, I know that we did this last time with Kamoshida. You might be like, all right, time to sign the calling card. But we're actually going to hold out on that for a bit because we have other matters to take care of. And all I got to do is now send the card to Matarame. All right, it's finally time. All we got to do is decide where we're going to do it. Hmm, should we talk to Yusuke about that first? Uh, why? I mean, Matarame was his teacher. It's not our place to deciding things like that, yeah? Oh, yeah. It's probably a good idea to talk to Yusuke. Why don't we have invited him into the group chat yet? Yeah, the problem's bigger than just the three of us. Anyway, I'll be all meet up at the hideout. Yep, sounds good. Okay, let me know when you want to ask Yusuke. I'll tell him. Okay, sounds good, but... That'll have to wait for tomorrow. Holy crud. We're going to be cutting it really close with the deadline, but this is all in hopes of reaching that 100% completion mark on Confidence. So, join me in the next episode where we make our final preparations to battle Matarame See, and steal his treasure. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.